Now this is that time for all my guests that have one minute on the clock. Team up to say, is there hot takes? Come on, everybody, let's do it. All right, now it's time for those hot takes. This is that time to put one minute on the clock and all my guests get one minute to break down all their hot takes for all the latest breaking news. That's the last 12 topics from the last segment. Can they make it before the bomb blows up or will they not? You know, it doesn't matter because it's up to you. They could still win. They get the best hot takes ever. They might not hit every topic, but it's still awesome. And I hope they make those hot takes. Who and Mike as my co-host for this evening, who will go oh, first? Yeah. For the hot takes. And be our hot question. take master. The question, Brian, because you know yes. you like to come to me for my philosophical takes. Uh, so my philosophical take for this evening is, who is feeling buttery? Uh, Hell that's, yeah. Yeah, okay, Pepe, I knew mm -hmm. you like that one. Oh my God, I've, I've never seen a more buttery What was good for the goose is good for than, the gander. Than, uh, what we got with Carter here. Carter, you oh. looking buttery, my, my bud. <laughs> Looking buttery. No. <laughs> you feeling good about it, Carter? Do you want to go first with those hot takes? Let's give it another shot, shall we? Right on. Oh yeah, I'm excited, Carter. I know you're always coming in hot, coming in smooth, coming in debonair with those hot takes. I believe in you, Carter. You got this. You're the man. You're the myth. You're the legend. Here we go, man. Get smooth. Get buttery. Get soft and get biscuity. Whew. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, Carter. Hot takes in three, two, one. Come on, Carter. Hot takes. Happy Perry, welcome to Death Update. We gotta figure out the real deal and get bring him his bad boys to justice. Talk to Trevi Iregrim's salary. Uh that's so insane, it's ridiculousness. Massive knives out budget, holy crap. All I can say is that's self-explanatory insane. House of the Dragon, has it gone wrong? Oh my gosh, leave it up to the individual to determine the side. Steamboat Willie, please bring that back. Mickey Mouse is classic, and so is Steamboat Willie. Beetlejuice, big box office, the truth is. Okay, I gotta put it bluntly. Yes. Alien series, one of a kind, not one of many. If you haven't seen it, do so. Really super gladiator. He's the man, the myth, phenomenal gladiator, one and only, he'll make things happen. Jim Allen White, he is a legend in the making. Yellowstone season six happening? Please do. Yellowstone, it is epic and it's time. Wizards of Waverly Place, I'm so glad, Brian, that you are a part of it because, hey, it is extraordinary. Just that, one word, two syllables, epic. Ian McKellen, please come back. His standoff needs a comeback. And Ian, you are the man, the myth, the wizard. Yeah, Carter, with six seconds to spare. <laughs> Carter, great, great, hot take, congratulations. Look at the man, the new master himself. Congratulations, Carter. Thank you, thank you. Woo, how's it feel, Carter? Look at the way. Great hot take, Carter. This, this segment <laughs> is made for you, Carter. You, 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 put, you put all the other guests to shame, honestly. <laughs> he he, he kind of does. I he's going to do, so I don't know. We, I can't your, vibe, happy, you know? Your, your vibe seems to, <laughs> to work with the segment for some reason. <laughs> You're appreciated. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Great hot takes, Carter. Great freaking hot takes. I, I, it's awesome. I'm so happy. <laughs> Everybody, naked lion, check that, check that shit out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. All right. But you know, we're not done yet. We got more people. Mike, oh, there it is. Hell yeah. Uh, Mike, are you going to go next or are you going to pass it over to Allie and let her do her hot takes? <laughs> Allie's looking buttery. You're looking buttery. It's, I, it's, I think it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> you, you feeling excited, Allie? You feeling oh, good yeah, about yeah, these I'll hot take takes? It. Okay. Yeah, let's take it. <laughs> I, let's make it I hot. Believe, I, be, I believe. Let's make it hot, Allie. Let's make it hot. Let's make it cool. Let's make it debonair. Let's make it everything and all the things. And it's Wednesday. It's going to be a fun time. So here we go. Here we go. I believe in you, Allie. <laughs> all right, Allie. Hot takes in three, two, one. Hot takes. All right, Matthew Perry, wrongful death. Uh, let's make some examples out of these guys. Duncan Crabtree, Ireland's salary uh, as a SAG actor who's kind of pissed. He's getting paid too damn much. Massive nice out budget. Um, you know what? The, the, they said this in 22 Jump Street. Oh, it's like paying more for the movie is going to mean more at the other end. It's stupid. No. Uh, House of the Dragon. Uh, has it gone wrong? I don't know. But, you know, maybe if our writer would finish writing something, I'd care more about his opinion right now. Steamboat Willie, man, and I thought I did D movies. I guess I'm doing GFZ movies. It's it's not looking great. <laughs> Beetlejuice box office. I mean, none of us are really surprised by that. Go enjoy your green wig and, and let's forget about this movie next year. Uh, Alien <laughs> series dropping the teaser. I'm super excited about this. I'm super excited about the cast. Hoping for good things. Gladiator. Uh, I don't know. We're, we're going to find out. Too much rap on that. 
uh, the bear will be back. That's going to be fun for people. Yellowstone back. I, I don't think I care. Wizards of Waverly Place, not into it. Uh, Ian McKellen, hell yeah. Gandalf, he actually said something about uh, being sure that he would put on the pointy hat before anybody else could again. Yeah, yeah, great guy. Great hot takes out. Congratulations. <laughs> that was awesome. Great, great, great hot takes. Nice work. Great hot takes, great hot takes. Front of applause. Uh, Mike, it's it's getting a little difficult for you, buddy. I know you are our I, resident I intellectual here. I know. Our, it looks difficult. It looks like I put myself <laughs> in a bad position, Brian. <laughs> you wanted to go last. Sometimes last uh, is the wrong spot to be in, it's, Mike. It's, it's true. I realized it the moment Carter started talking. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, fun for everyone? Yourself. Thanks for being here. Okay, Mike, you're feeling okay, right? You're feeling confident? You feeling good about this? I'm not feeling buttery, Brian, but I'm <laughs> frothing in a foam. You better, you better lather up, man, because it's happening. <laughs> it's, it's, day. it's it's that time. It's that time yeah, of the week. We could do it. <laughs> hey, Mike, if anybody can do it, have you, you even said it. it's hump day yet, Brian? I what, said what it's is hump this? day. What show it's is the hump, day, like the hump like days one. and any hump like day that's ever that's existed <laughs> in all of Humpamania. That's all I'm saying. Let's happy hump day, everybody. Let's hump. Let's hump it up, Mike. Here we go. Let's get humpy. All right, Mike. Get humpy, buttery, biscuity, and sensational. Woo. Here we go, Mike. Hot takes in three, two, one. You got this. Hot takes. That was an incredible tagline, Brian. Uh, let's see. Knives out budget. Uh, look, crazy visual effects help the international box office, but they don't make a good movie. You're right, Allie. Uh, I'm sad that we lost Matthew Perry, uh, but I hear about this ketamine queen, and all of a sudden I'm watching the music video for Caribbean Queen by Billy Ocean, and then I'm happy again. Uh, gladiator, more like Sadiator, do the time portal, guys. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, um, let's see. SAG AFTRA, union leaders making a million bucks a year. Come on, call me when he's throwing bodies in the bay. Uh, Beetlejuice, you know, every time we see Michael Keaton lately, it's great. Is it not? It's great. It's great. I'm loving seeing this guy. Uh, Jeremy Allen White from The Bear, he looks like Gene Wilder. I don't, look look him up, guys. Uh, yeah. They're, go they're gonna have to de-age a wizard, Brian. That, feel, that feels really strange for, uh, wizard. for Ian McKellen. De-age wizard is precisely the age he intends to be. Uh, what am I? Alien, yeah, on Earth, I guess. Uh, Yellowstone, who cares? Wizards of Waverly Place, you were a magician, weren't you, Brian? I, I was a magician on Night Squad. Not a wizard, you were a magician. A I, was, I, a was the court, I was the court gasper, Mike. Great hot takes, Mike! You're just giving, you're just giving the, the balloons and <laughs> confetti to everybody now. I'm just giving them. I'm just giving them. Like, Oh, yeah, I missed Steamboat You Willie. did miss. <laughs> just, just Steamboat Willie, though. Not too bad. I feel, I feel good, especially after those stellar performances from our guests. Wow. Yeah, it was great. It was great. Right, Peps? What's sorry? Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, Pepe, I saw there was something in the chat about uh, Pepe and his hot takes. I keep trying to get Pepe. He did it one time, uh, but he's just not He's just not into it all the time. I, I try, right, Mike? We try all the time. But he's, Every, what's he say? He told me every 200 episodes he's willing to do it. <laughs> is that is that is that true, Peppy? Opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got them. You, you're not. You don't have. You don't have a consistent take, Peppy. But that's why you're great on the show. I mean, you're different it, every day, man. It's true. It's true. Let's talk about this. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying. Yep. All right, Peppy. One day you'll do high takes, right? I'd pee on this if I could. Anyways, all right, everybody. Great hot takes, great hot takes across the board. Uh, thank you all for being here. I'm going to put it out to the chat right now. You tell us who you think should win hot takes. I'm starting the poll right now. Get in there, have some fun. Vote, 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 vote. And uh, thank you all for being here on Cruise Control. As always, happy hump day. All right, let's go in the room a little bit here because there's a lot going on, of course. Uh, this whole, okay, okay, let's go to Carter here first. Carter. Steamboat Willie, man. Steamboat Willie. Uh, is that anything in any kind of universe that you'll check out? And of course it is Mickey Mouse, but he's killing people. Is that, is that a good thing? 
Absolutely, positively, because I feel like Mickey Mouse is still got to be um, relevant for the 21st century and beyond, especially in the 2020s. I mean, like the Mickey Mouse character is, you know, a uh, worldwide cultural icon. And to give him a new evolution, a new kind of vibe would actually, um, you know, I think rack some people's brains in a really unique way way and steamroll willie when you look at the uh, black and white films of uh, of him like back in like the 30s 40s and otherwise i mean it, it was really intriguing entertainment and i feel like now in the 2020s it's time for us to see something new and optimistic and nilic to the max coming out of the mickey mouse character and steamroll willie is definitely a one of a kind classic character that mickey mouse portrays so would you would you check out the uh, the Poonaverse, Carter? Have you seen Blood and Honey or any of these? <laughs> no, I've not seen <laughs> any of those. Question. <laughs> the, the Poonaverse sounds like a very wild title to give up. <laughs> but at the same time, it really does capture the um, the attention of somebody who has a pretty insane mind themselves. So I think oh, it'll the Poonaverse. I, I might be interested in that. That it's, sounds like yeah. the kind of thing that I'm into. <laughs> It's it's the cinematic Puniverse, everybody. The cinematic Puniverse. That's what we're doing here. So uh, get settled. Get ready for that. Get ready for that. It's coming. It's just, I'm so I'm saying it's coming. Mike, as a wizard yourself. It is, though. Thank you. What do you have to say to Gandalf to make him know that he'll be okay and be able to get there? Do you think that will make this happen? Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna live forever, Brian. We, we were talking about it in the green room a little bit. It's he's not like <laughs> he's not like you or me, Brian. Ian McKellen has something to live for. He has a reason to wake up every day and continue uh, living his life because he's Ian motherfucking McKellen. Um, so I think he's gonna you know he's gonna live. Yeah, he's gonna live and he's gonna keep working because he he loves he loves it. I mean, the, just the love just drips off the guy like. He's he's a bit of a goof about it. He's a little he's a little silly. He's a little theater. You know, he likes the kind of vibe, but he is having fun clearly, and so I hope he gets to continue to do that. Yeah, I, I love that he's still been working. He's been still working his ass off and going and going and going. It shows how much he loves his craft, and he loves doing this. He's been so hunt part for, of it. Hunt for Golem, man. I'm looking. Thank forward you, Queen. To it. I'm trying a mustache out. Why not? I'm just trying things. Just why not? We're just trying some things. You know, Mike was calling me like Gomez earlier or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ra- 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 Raul Trebek. Julia. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Uh, uh, Allie. Are you are you a fan then of, of of House of the Dragon and all? Have you watched that series that that Martin's talking about or any of the Game of Thrones? And do you think that this should just keep going this gravy boat? Uh, I mean, I did read the existing books and watched the Game of Thrones series, and uh, you know, I started House of Dragon, and I was just like, mm, I'm kind of tired, so. <laughs> I, maybe when it's done, I'll try to binge through the whole thing, but I just can't. I, I feel I you, can't Allie. Just waiting game. I feel you. I'm with you on yeah. that. <laughs> I, I, I watched it, and, and I do think that it just took me a little bit longer to get through season two than I did for season one. I just kept, I kept falling asleep. I hate to say that. Uh, but, you know, I, I did get through it, and there is some great cinematic moments, but I do think that there's a lot happening. It's like the Lord of the Rings. We have the Rings of Power have come out, too, and that's not been doing as well, and that's a lot of money they spent on that as well. It's fun lore, but, I mean, they're stretching a little mm-hmm. bit to me. And there, there's more well, coming, too. There's more coming. And I, the, the, the Rings of Power intro... Did anybody else see that and go, man, this looks like fan fiction? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. Don't tell Am- ba- Basil's will come after you, Allie. Basil's will come after you. <laughs> that rocket will fly up and He's land like, in your but backyard. I spent, but I spent $400 million. It can't look like shit. <laughs> they spent, uh, the first season, I, it was like make it or break it. That They spent so much money in that first season. I didn't think it was going to come back because the reviews were kind of mixed. And again, I think it was very slow the first season. But the second season does pick up faster and we're getting into the lore. I mean, desperate we're getting more into IP. it. They're desperate yeah. for IP. Thank They're you, just Jamie. trying to get a foothold because they want everything to expand. They don't want it just to be a beautiful artistic story. They want, yeah. they want the lunchbox is what it's all about, right? They, they, they want it all. They want it all. They want the lunch boxes. They want the t-shirts. They want the underwear. They want the baseball. Everything is, a, it, everything is a cog in a machine to them, right? So like I used to work for Amazon in the warehouse. I got booed out of a Netflix meeting for telling them I worked for Amazon because I worked in the warehouse. <laughs> <What? laughs> That's and, the most uh, horrible thing I've ever heard. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, guys, I just, I just push packages. I'm sorry. But, um, <laughs> but regardless, like it's the way they treat employees. It's the way they treat content. Everything is just another thing that should be making them enough money. And, uh, you know, if it hits those numbers, great. And if not, 
Let it go. That's a cool, it go. cool way to look at humanity, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let it go. Uh, just like we have to let the hot takes go because we do have a winner of hot takes, everybody. Uh, we appreciate you all for voting. Again, a round of applause for our audience out there. Thank you for being here on Cruise Control every day in and out. Appreciate you. <laughs> but we have a hot take master of the evening. It has happened. We have a winner. And I'm so excited to say it. So here we go, everybody. Who's it gonna be? Who's our hot take winner for this evening? And our winner of hot takes for Wednesday, September 4th is... Miss Allie Perez, Allie, congratulations! <laughs> nice work. <laughs> great hot takes. Great hot takes, Allie. Great, great, great hot takes. Great hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you all out there uh great hot takes across the board everybody great hot takes across the board really uh everyone did a stand-up job today it was it was it was as carter would say phenomenal to the max right carter uh it, it was just it was, it was it was amazing so thank you all and thank you all for voting as always love it love it love it yo player if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we are live and if you are able to join our Patreon, please join. Cause the pep star needs more snickety snacks. Cause I'm hungry. Holla back. Love y'all.